what is Christmas and what is the real meaning of it? It's the miraculous and spectacular birth of Jesus Christ. The birthday of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the creator of the universe, the Son of God Most High, the Savior of all people, the Messiah birthday we are celebrating. That's the meaning of Christmas. When Jesus Christ came, it was God coming to this earth in human form to live among men. He humbled himself. He identified himself with us. That's the meaning of Christmas. Truly, we really have to thank God for that unshakable gift that he gave on that first Christmas when Jesus Christ came as the glorious and wonderful gift of God to the human race. There are millions of people around the world are really missing the real meaning of Christmas. Many people think Christmas is about gifts, toys, Christmas tree, secrets, Santa Claus, the star and decorations and all that. And some even think that Christmas is about Bethlehem, wise men, shepherds and all that. These are all the physical appearances of Christmas. But God wants us to celebrate Christmas in the proper spirit. And this Christmas, we have to be more prayerful. Some people even think that, to the worst, there are many churches, especially in this Christmas season, Christmas celebrations, they focus more on skits, dancing, choreography, love feasts and all that. They ignore the word of God. How terrible isn't it? Word of God is ultimate. God blesses every congregation and everyone who gives most priority to the word of God. So by the way, who is this Jesus? Can we trust Bible historically? Many prophets had prophesied about the coming of Christ many years ago, even hundreds and thousand years ago. Isaiah had written, in Isaiah 7, 14 to us, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. The prophet Micah, inspired by the God Spirit, had written in Micah 5th chapter 2nd verse, But you, Bethlehem Ephrata, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, Yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. And most importantly, if you remember, when Adam and Eve committed their first sin in the Garden of Eden, when we have the punishment for that sin, if you look at Bible in Genesis 3.15, it was mentioned as the seed of the woman. We all know that women don't have a seed, they eggs. But how come we have the seed of the woman here? The only case in history where the woman had the seed that was not of a man and produced life of a human being that was obviously divine, it was Jesus himself. The prophecy was mentioned about the virgin birth of Christ thousands of years ago. So the seed of the woman could only refer to only one person in the entire history is Jesus. And he is the one who will crush the head of the serpent with his heels. And he is the one who can defeat Satan. That exactly happened on the cross when Jesus defeated Satan partially. And he is going to eliminate all the evil and devil completely on the second coming and we will have millennium, thousand years to celebrate as we know about it. You see the exact fulfillment of the prophecies of the scriptures. Bible is the truth. Bible is historical, prophetical, logical, geographical. And Bible is the ultimate authority. So what should we do on this Christmas? This Christmas, invite your neighbors, friends, Gentiles, and others, not just having a physical parties, but share the good news and gospel with them. Let Christ come into their hearts 
and change their hearts and soul and make them a new person. By the way, think of this for a moment. That the angel of the Lord proclaimed the good news to the shepherds. How strange and surprising that the glad word, the heavenly announcement, the greatest news ever revealed to shepherds first, not to the priests, Pharisees, scribes of the people and scholars and so forth. They were probably preoccupied with all these rituals, religious service and creeds and all that. But God always speaks to those who are well prepared in their hearts to listen. Isn't it the good news? And also do remember when the angel of the Lord proclaimed the good news to the lonely shepherds, they didn't just stop and wonder whether it was all true or not. They responded, they went to Bethlehem to meet the baby Jesus. They received the invitation and they responded. And this Christmas, you are receiving a personal invitation from Jesus Christ. Come to Christ. We know that we have all been living in uncertain situations. Because of Corona, very unfortunately, many of us lost our loved ones. Financial burden, financial struggle, drastic falling down of economy. Many people are worrying about their life. Many people are worrying about their future. Come to Christ. He can bring you the joy, happiness, excitement, thrill, peace, hope, assurance, and future which you have never experienced in your life. He can wipe out all your tears. He can forgive all the sins that you have ever committed if you will give your life to Christ. Because he loves you, he died on the cross for you and he had conquered the death to give you eternal life. Do you know the meaning of Jesus? In Hebrew, the name Jesus means the Lord saves. He shall save his people from their sins. That's why he shall be called Jesus. Jesus himself said, for this reason was I born. According to John 18 and 37. Come to Christ. You may be a Christian for a long time, but have not really known Christ. Turn to God. Admit your sins. Repent. And you can rededicate yourself. Have you ever been to the cross and received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, then Christmas has no meaning for you. There is no true Christmas spirit in the heart of any man who doesn't know Christ as Lord and Savior. So let's not that happen to you. You can rededicate yourself to Christ this Christmas. How much more meaningful the Christmas is when we have a personal relationship with Christ. Isn't it? But if you are coming to Christ for the first time, you can spend your first Christmas knowing and experiencing the true Christmas in your heart. Come to Christ. God loves the whole world. And God's love is for everyone. And Jesus came into the world to be the savior of all people. God bless you and I wish you all a Merry Christmas.